Hey guys, I'm excited. Go look at what's inside the truck. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it all onto the bed of my truck. I barely did, some of it was on the ground. But we're gonna run through all the tools that I have that I carry on my truck and that I use. Some of them I don't actually use as much, but I still have them on the truck. So let's get to it. So on this side, you guys know I got my acetylene. It's got 125 foot of stinger lead, 125 foot of ground lead, and obviously my welding machine, which is a Ranger. Lincoln Ranger 250 GXT. I can carry a face shield and my welding hood. Right here is an electrode stabilizing oven or a rod oven. Keeps rods about 250 to 300 degrees for your low hydrogen rod. So looking down here right quick, I like to carry, I got just a few buffing wheels. I got a whole box of uh, seven inch, probably these are six inch cutting discs. I got a box of uh, 40 grit pearl discs, box of quarter inch grinding discs, and just a few eighth inch grinding discs. I don't really use those too much. Um, earplugs, I'm a huge fan of safety guys, so I'll see earplugs. Um, look in here, i uh, got a harness uh, for some of the places I work. I've got to have this double lanyard, self-retracting. Uh, I've got a six foot level and a two foot level. I've got a T-square. Looking at the rods that I carry in my truck, I've got eighth inch. 5P plus Lincoln Electric, just some 6010 right there, 6010. Uh, I got these because I'm just trying them out. This is the Atom Arc 7018, 8 inch. Uh, I got one of these here just to keep my uh, 7018 rods, you know, safe and secure, dry for the most part. Some more rods there. And then I've got I've got a box here of the UTP rods, the 332s, low hydrogen. Uh, eighth inch Radner 7018 and 532 7018 also Radner all right moving on coming up to the top here some of the stuff isn't really a whole lot of helpful but I use it I got a craftsman here that's got a bunch of different drill bits and this that and the other for screw bits and stuff like that up here I've got a Bauer uh, porta band I use it when I can to save on my cutting discs because you really mow through cutting discs when you got to cut a lot of stuff uh, the same here I just got a DeWalt set up for uh, screws and such if you ever get into it a couple of ratchet sets but the main things I really get into is uh, this set here wrenches combo and wrenches I got a hundred foot tape I got four six or sorry four inch C clamps and I got this random guy just because he's around. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I think it's about six inches deep here. Uh, coming to this side, I've got a vice grip. You guys don't see it very much because I actually keep it in a box because it comes out and I just don't like people to be able to walk off with my stuff. So when I'm done with it, I take it out and uh, throw it in a box. I've got about six of these uh, called finger clamps, cowboy clamps, whatever you want to call them. I've always heard of cowboy down here since I moved down here I'm gonna call some finger clamps I've got a two couple of these here these uh, adjustable a lot of you guys know them as Bessie clamps because the brand was Bessie but these are burger burger don't know how you say it but uh 12 inch adjustable you know fabrication clamps uh, here I've got an allen set just because I get into a lot of millwright stuff as well since that's kind of what I do down here uh, more often than not working on the mills so um got a couple of two inch strap setups here i'm um, getting into the more fun stuff pan up there there's the old ranger pan back um right here is my active eight miller suitcase um, that's for any mig that i do what i got in there right now is some flux core and right here i've got a whole wheel of hard wire and we'll get around to that as we keep going around the truck here, but I got a couple of two foot framing squares and going into the hand tools right quick. I got two of those very heavy, 36 inch five wrenches and 18 inch. And this is coming handy, believe it or not, a really large crescent wrench. I just got a crescent wrench, a couple of, you know, I got a 430 channel locks and 426 channel locks. Uh, a couple of things, you know, just for prying or whatever. 
These are my dikes, of course, for uh, TIG welding. Got a snip. I uh, got some welpers here. Go with my MIG setup. Uh, a couple of tape measures. The old striker for, uh, you know, cutting. And over here I got the just the setup. I don't really use any of these. I do use the rosebud, and it goes with my torch, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, these are really handy. This is just, you know, measuring stick. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Other than measuring tape. Uh, I got a brush, don't really use it most of the time. I just use a buffer. Uh, I got a file. Uh, this one, you know, is a half bastard file. And then a couple of just flat files I don't really ever use. Uh, most of the time, eh, everything I do is with the half bass. So then I got a rubber mallet. Comes in handy every once in a while. And this little guy, a little fitting hammer. I need to get me a bigger one. I had a bigger one for um, more fun stuff, but it got stolen. So I need to get another one of those. Uh, I got a level, a little torpedo level. Comes in handy when fitting. Tri square and speed square. It's all about being plumb level and square, guys. Everything. Um, just a couple of the. Oh, I got a chisel just for whenever you get those BBs or something real, real tough to come off. You tip it off there. You're not really supposed to ping your welds either, but you could do that too if you wanted to. Um, got some tape and dope for pipe. If you ever got to do screwed pipe, but for the most part, I always weld. I just carry it on me just in case. I have got a six inch grinder and two four inch grinders. This one's a Metabo, this one's a DeWalt. Um, that pretty much gets everything I have. Normally I have uh, a cut with this one. Uh, this one's got a grinder on it for the most part. And this one I use for my buffing pads and my, uh, those wire wheels. I like to put those on there too. So I use these pails here, got them out of farm supply. You can see they're just a stub bucket. I just throw my burnt stubs in there keep up with it keeps a real clean job site I use the other bucket for throwing rods in my tools so I'm just kind of carrying around two buckets nickname is old two buckets anyways um, these come in real handy when you're high flying or up in the air and I can't really set a bucket anywhere I had a lot of work in a mill this summer and it was working on one of their sorters and we were up probably about 20 foot in the air most of the time so using these bags to kind of just hang your rods on came in real handy got I want to say a little over 160, 150 foot, and this guy's like 15 foot, so I got 165 foot of extension cord. Um, over here, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but I'll just do this here. I've got 100 foot of oxyacetylene hose, and as you see, as we've been going around, I've got four jack stands for fitting. My two, uh, Two torches I use here most of the time. My littler one I have the uh, I have the scarfing tip set up on, and I use this guy for cutting. I got a, a couple different sizes, depends on what I'm cutting. Either the really heavy stuff, which I got size one tip on there, and this one I believe is a double aught. So it kind of gets me on just about everything I mess with. Well, you guys see uh, me holding here in my hand what I just took off of there. It's obviously my TIG rig with the 100 foot of hose. If you guys are starting to get the theme, uh, it should be real apparent. I'm set up with just about every possible way to be able to go 100 foot away from my truck in every direction. And my connection on my suitcase, as you guys can see, I've got set up is a Tweco. So it goes right into my leads. So this guy can go as far away as the hose that I have coming off, or I just use flux cord, which you don't need a gas. But coming back to the hard wire that I have for that, We'll come over to the gases here. I've got my setup for uh, right here. This is uh, my nitrogen, two oxygens, and my 7525. So it gets me covered on everything. It gets me my TIG for my argon. Sorry, did I say nitrogen? <laughs> I meant argon. Uh, argon for my TIG, 7525 for any hard wire or dual shield on my MIG. And then of course my two oxygens go with my acetylene over there for all my cutting. Um, got an eighth inch and 332 filler rods for my TIG. And just real close here, you can kind of see I got a whole assortment of uh, tungstens. I got eighth inch, 332, 332 there. These are just two different kinds and I even got 16th inch and really I mess with them. And just a couple of setup, you know, I've got my collets and uh, diffusers and cups here, all for my TIG. 
And then looking down here, real quick, you guys can see I've got my batteries, my drill, my impact. Got to have this guy for safety. That's all insurance. And back here, last thing would be a welding blanket. Um, I keep that on me just in case I need it. Uh, haven't had to use it yet. So that's everything on my truck. Some stuff I don't need as much. Other things you guys are going to be like, man, why does he use that? Uh, I'm just showing you what I got on my truck goes back to what I say all the time is you're going to rig out two different ways one's pipeline one's contra self-contracting or mobile welding you know contract work you're going to need a lot more tools if you're doing contracting versus pipelining you're going to need very few because you're just there to weld pipe so um, that's the little run over of my truck what I use and everything I've used the past year these are all the tools that I've kind of as assembled together and uh, this is what it is guys I hope it helps you out